<laughs> just want to talk about uh, organizing for NYCHA. Yeah. What, what are you doing now? So what we'd like to see is have this uh, lawsuit that they're doing advance a little bit and use that as a way to show others that there is something that they can do and there is something possible. I think folks need to also just talk about their other legal options. I mean, the rent strike isn't ideal. It's not the number one thing, but it is effective for a reason. And in order to be able to have an effective rent strike, there's a lot of conversations that need to happen. And ultimately, it's the, it's the tenant's decision on how they want to move forward. But I think just, I think this in of itself is showing um, different ways of trying to, to attack the same problem what I tell tenants is all the time if you can't go back and do the same thing that you were doing if you know that it's not working you really need to think about other ways and it's not just uh, you know it's not just one thing that's gonna make uh, make the difference that you really have to come at this at, with different different types of approaches so I'm looking forward into to seeing and exploring the other options with the tenants and really seeing this grow. How do, how do we prevent the mayor from putting these buildings and others in, into the RAD system? That is going to take just making sure that the tenants understand what's being proposed and at the end of the day that the decision is theirs. And so really wanting to make sure that we're having conversations, really wanting to make sure that we're informing people. And, you know, our responsibility, I feel like, is to follow the people's lead. So if they don't want the red, then it's my job to fight to make sure that it doesn't come through. All right. I see all of this work supposedly done for uh, the resiliency, but I have this suspicion that it's really more than that. From the I, point of view. I agree. I agree. I think that folks that live here are uh, better to tell us on what's happening. And I think that also, like, the years of neglect, the years of not really caring about what's happening, it also has built a lot of mistrust, so they have a lot of work to do. Um, and I've made it very clear to the folks at night and the intergovernmental stuff. Uh, they got ideas, that's great. Uh, but I'm going to be looking to my constituents to see if that's the idea that they want. Uh, me to put my full effort behind and if it's something that they want then that's great but if it's not then we have to have a larger conversation at why and then we need to we we have a right to expect our government to do more so so basically from the start it's education of the, of the tenants I think it's really important for tenants to understand what's happening and what's being proposed uh, it's their it's they who are going to be impacted from this but I have my own reservations about RAD I have my own reservations about the infill someone who's been doing tenant advocacy for a really long time um, but you know we have to you know I'm willing to listen to what they're proposing I'm not crazy about some of the ideas but again you know to me it's about uh, the people that live here and what they want well I appreciate the time thank, thank you, you.